Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, how did I make my transition from physics to medicine? And as I said, I tried to talk with the professor in medical physics and he, his secretary just refused to let me see him. So I decided to talk with the friends that I had in the radiology department who had been physicists. And eventually they led me in the lab. I got a chance to hang around the lab and to interact with the uh, clinicians and, and the techni technologists and the technicians. And that's how I got in. Eventually, I registered for a PhD in biomedical engineering. Well, in fact, it was a certificate program in biomedical engineering because remember at this time, there were no biomedical engineering programs, faculties in the US or anywhere in the world for that matter. This was the mid 90s. And I realized that it was still uncertain whether they would get accreditation. So after a year in that department, I um, registered for the PhD in biophysics. In fact, in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics is located in the School of Medicine. And so now I was at least on my way. Problem is, again, that the definition of biophysics did not include MRI. And that is what I wanted to do. That was my dream. So I needed to find a way to simply earn the right to do the kind of research that I wanted to do. And that means that I just needed to pick a topic, a subject in the field of biophysics, get a PhD in it, and then say, okay, now I am important enough to choose my own field. So that's exactly what I did. I chose to do my dissertation research in uh, NMR spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, looking at the, the structure of DNA, how DNA damage can be associated with cancer. And then after that, I found it a little easier to simply move on to do MRI. And so I registered for a postdoctoral program in the Department of Neurosurgery and ended up working with animals doing some MRI on, uh, on rats, looking at uh, the brain, MRI in, uh, of uh, brain tissue. But then remember, I just wanted to do MRI in humans. So eventually after that, I registered for another program and eventually got a job doing MRI in humans, in fact, doing cardiac MRI. And that's where I spent the bulk of the last decade um, doing cardiac MRI. So I made this, I had succeeded in making the transition from physics to medicine and from a child wanting to do something significant and important, I had now positioned myself um, in a place where I could actually make some of that happen. But something else I wanted to do was travel. I really wanted to see the world. And so for the decade and a half that I spent rather making that transition from physics to medicine, I had really remained in the same place and hadn't done a whole lot of traveling outside of the US. And so when the opportunity arose, I decided to take off for Asia. And so I headed to Singapore and started to do research there in nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy on liver tumors, cancer. And that brings me to the point where I'm now looking at establishing a program to do medical research with the point of view of narrowing the gap between medical technology and medical science and medical facilities and medical care in developing countries and that which exists in the developed world. I'd like to see that gap narrowed, in fact, closed, eliminated. And that is my mission. So, until you hear from me again, sayonara, peace out, and bye.